last episode we put a lot of focus onto the hideout. But today, we're going for the flash drive. Are you ready? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to episode 12 of Ride to Riches. Uh, we're moving in quickly in... Well, I guess quickly would be the only word I'm going to use for this one. But we're moving in quick because we're trying to go and get flash drives to get the last one that we need for Skeeter. But we also need a couple flash drives for also Jaeger down the road. So we're going to try to get those as soon as possible. So that is the plan for right now. So we're doing it on Shoreline because honestly, it's the only thing I really have access to for like safes at the moment. Since we got the we got the back door cottage key, so we can get into that room, and of course we have the main cottage, which there's like two safes that we can get into as well. So that is the plan for right now. Uh, beyond that, pretty much after we get those checked, if there's any flash drives, obviously we'll try to get out with that one. But we're also gonna do a little bit of searching in the village as well for any loot that we can take along with us as well. And that's kind of the plan for right now. If we complete that stuff, if we can make enough money, or if we can get lucky, maybe we can find the 114 key as well, and we can move on from there and head back to customs. But for now, we're at the cottages, and that is our main goal for today. Normally say I would say, are you ready? But we're already here, so I hope you're ready. Let's get inside, check these all out. I would, I would suspect that probably the first one's here. So I don't have to worry about too much. We already had the bunk door. Our bunk house key, so we don't need any more of those. Matches. Sure, I'll take anything. Bringing up the good old Mosin. I need to get this guy leveled up. We're pretty close to getting him to level 2. And then we need to get to level 3 at some point. Now, I would normally do my normal reload, reloading over and over and over. I may actually go back to doing that soon. If we end up not finding a lot of players to shoot. Expect a lot of reloading when it comes to, the, to these episodes, or at least for like the next two. And after that, we're going to be switching like the AK series and moving on from there. Got a base. Okay, so we're going to get one there. Let's check out the PC. Maybe we get a graphics card or something. Okay, no graphics card. No big deal. All right. Oh, that's not good. Well, actually, maybe just regular scavs. It's just a VPO. I thought it was uh, Sanitar and the guys. I was almost convinced there for a second that it was them. Take one more mag for the time being. Wonder what's here. That's Marge. Oh, yeah, well, hey, we got lunch. Take that. We'll use that to fix, fix the arm when we get out of here. Got more food. That was really weird. Like I like double shot. Pulls this behind us. All right, we're inside now. Just really, really want to get that last flash drive so we can continue moving out with skiers. A lot of stuff that's locked behind that. And I prefer not to be locked behind it. But I'm pretty sure also when these saves, I need to have a key. So we're not going to get lucky on everything inside the uh, the secondary one. But at least we can take advantage of the safe here. Oh, 
Perfect. Actually perfect. Okay. Let's get the arm fixed real quick and then we're going to head out. I'm actually okay if we don't get like everything right now. Like as far as filling up our, our whole backpack. I just want to get out with this flash drive and get at least one part of it done. Okay, let's start heading out. Actually, I'm just curious what's in here. I wonder if there's any intel spawns inside this place or not. Let me know in the comments if you know there's like an intel spawn in there or not. We got two scab kills, should be enough XP for us, or we're not going to get any run-throughs, but let's start heading towards the exit now. Uh, where's an exit? Over there. Okay, we got that part done, which was good. Very happy about that. I guess while we're on our way out, I mean, we're going to run into a few buildings anyway, so we could technically do a little bit of searching while we go past them. two of them oh there's always two ah. dang it man i had i had got him i was trying to pull back towards like the, to the open area like there ah oh, that's so unfortunate i played that pretty decent actually but there's always two. I mean, it could have been a lot worse if you think about it. Could have not killed the one guy. But we still got him. But his friend got us. Not like he got a lot from him. So granted, he got the flash drive, but... Eh. I know a lot of people will say, why didn't you put it in a secure container or anything like that? But at the end of the day, it's not going to matter whether or not I put a secure container or not. It's going to be worthless to me at the end. Oh, there's some connection issues going on today. Yeah, it's completely useless to us if we don't actually get it out. It'll sell a little bit of money for fence and whatnot, but... I mean, does that really matter to us? I mean... It's basically a paperweight, because it's not found in raid. So, if I ever don't put something in my secret secure container, other than the graphics card from that one episode, because that definitely should have gone in there. Um, everything else, if it's a task item... I mean, there's no use for it at the end of the day. Anyway, let's push forward. Let's try this again, shall we? Maybe the cottages will be nice to us once again, and we'll get another flash drive and not run to a player this time. But if we do run to a player, maybe we can kill him again. Hmm. How the heck did you get here so fast, dude? Oh, there is a spawn, isn't there? No, that's right. There, there is an actual spawn that's like really, really close. I 
thought it was a scab at first. I was like, eh, just scab and kill, no big deal. Wait, why didn't you go there? That was weird. Come on, flash drive. Come on, flash drive. Come on, flash drive. Not gonna be a flash drive. All right, let's start heading out. Let's get to the other cottage and, well, go from there. I'm not gonna lie, there may it may take us a little bit to actually get the next one. You know, we get lucky with the one and then un unfortunately die. You know, just kind of have to hope that Tarkov's nice to us and gives us another one. I thought I was hearing somebody behind us. Give us some, give us another one, please, right here. Right here. Not here. This is the lock safe there. Let them in. Okay, well, no flash drive for us this time, but we can, we can start heading out at least, get a little bit something from it. Uh, we can check the coat here, of course. Trying to make these runs as quick as possible with like obviously some gain involved with it. But we're, we're just literally focused on getting in, looking for the flash drives. If we don't get them, we get out with some loot and some rewards and then we move on. And not get killed like we did like the last time. I'm just going to check to some loot back here or not. It doesn't look like it. Also, for those that are able to make it out from the live stream for, for episode 11, thank you so much. It was actually a lot of fun. We had a good time doing it. You guys kept me in line for the type of stuff I was looking for. I'm making sure that I was actually staying on task. So, hey, I always appreciate it. Keeping an eye on what I need to get. It was a good time. I had a really good time on that one. Um, some other live streams coming up soon. So definitely be keeping an eye out. Still debating because I know a lot of people actually but surprisingly the amount of people that were actually very excited for the Hogwarts playthrough uh, were in in the stream today. And or not was it today? Yeah, what's today? Jeez, I'm thinking I'm thinking see it's technically Tuesday for you guys right now. It's a day behind for me. Um But yeah, a lot of people were really excited about that. And I was like at first I was debating about just doing it as a live stream once in a while. But since there's some interest. It's probably going to be, be released alongside of Tarkov. So, just as a little heads up. Actually, I'm very excited about it, though. Every time I keep hearing things about it, I haven't heard... I mean, I hear some small negative things about it, but for the most part, the game has been all positive, which is a really awesome, awesome thing to hear. All right, come on. Let's just get some loot here. Maybe a flash drive will be the jacket here. Nope. Anything else? Pausing, no loot in here whatsoever. What the heck? Don't need the pliers. I see a battery over there I need. Take the battery. I want to take the pliers just to sell them because of money. I've got a little bit of space extra. Extra space open still, but it's fine. The point is to specifically go for the Flash drive. Anything else is just a bonus. Come on, come on, come on. Good enough, good enough. Now, also on the flip side, there's a secondary goal I'm looking at, and that secondary goal is to get a scab junk box. We need like 1.1 million rubles, but I do want to get one of those uh, at some point in the next like episode or two. Just so we can actually get a lot more free up space in the in the in the stash. Now it's most likely the order is going to be 
If I can't find the 114 key, it's going to be buying the 114 key so I can finish up that task and keep uh, therapist moving on. Then moving on to a scab drunk box and going on from there. All right, I'm going to drop all this stuff off and then we're coming right back in for another run for another flash drive chance. Hopefully we'll see if we can make it happen. Not really sure what's going on, but I keep getting this spawn and I'm not complaining whatsoever. Not complaining at all. Check the trunk. Nothing in. Okay. Maybe third time's a charm to get it for the second time. We can only help, of course. But that is the goal. Trying to get that last. I always seem to get that connection interruption like right there. Super, super weird. Just saying. A little sus there, Tarkov. What do you do? Loading someone in right in front of me to try to kill me with an MDR silence or something? It is a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. I knew it, Tarkov. You were trying to sabotage me. I also finished the uh, one part of the Friends from the West. Freaking knew it, Tarky. You were trying to sabotage me from the beginning. I was like hearing something and that, yep, there it is. There's the player right in front of me. Let's get repaired, shall we? Wait, did he really have not any, not have any meds on him actually? Yeah, my dude, what, what are you doing? You had no meds on you. Make sure I loaded that. We'll have that as a backup in case we need it. Time to go. Yeah, I'm guessing he just he spawned to the left where I'm at right now. I'll have this for the inside. A beard. Doesn't actually sell for that much, which is sad and saddening. It's only like 3,000. Come on, flash drive. Got a manual, and we got some rubles, okay. Was I be being psychic, by the way? I feel like I was being psychic saying that, and then all of a sudden it, being, it came true. I'm a wizard. I can see the future. SSD. All right, let's get to the other cottage, check it again, see if we can get that flash drive, and you know the drill. We get out, get our stuff, and we make some moolah. Not get stuck behind a door. That was actually kind of close. Sound like it was at the bus depot. And I am going to check, though, after this raid, I'm, I'm going to quickly check to see what the price is on the uh, cottage safe key. If it's not that expensive, then I'm going to buy it. 
Because obviously we're wasting a whole opportunity for another item because we don't have the, the kind of safe key, but we'll check it up to this. Come on. Right here, it's only opportunity. Ah, sorry. Not a big deal. Also, this is a good run because I'll be able to get a docs case soon. That's also one thing that's nice about this run. Is that I'm trying to save up the horses to get ourselves the... Um, oh, gosh, I almost forgot the word. Um, we're saving everything up because we're trying to get ourselves our hands on the docks case. As much as I want to go check the 222 key and see if I can find a Ledex out of our way and we have goals many goals we're trying to hit do, 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 do. hey by the way first you lack of the series that's really cool it's not the it's not the black one like i like to use but hey a you lack is a you lack and it protects our noggin a little bit better except it didn't protect his noggin and what did it protect his noggin it, yeah no it actually did i just went straight for the face instead Let's get away from the open field and we'll be good to go. Oh, what do you guys think of the thumbnails lately? I feel like we've gotten a little more art artsy with them. A little more artsy, wartsy, fartsy is what they call the word, I think. But I think it looks nice. Gives a little bit extra story to the to the episodes. Because you're like, whoa, I wonder what's gonna happen in this episode. I see this and this and this, but what's this mean? And then you can figure it out by the end of the episode. Okay, let's get going. Has the door been opened? It is not. Okay. I don't know what I heard there, but I heard rustling in a bush, and I thought it was a player. Oh, it's just the sounds being delayed. Okay, that makes more sense now. I was like, "What? okay, what am I hearing now? And it's just the backpack. Or not the backpack, it's the, uh, the coat that I just went through, which is really delayed right now. I dropped a mag, by the way. I know that. I realized that after I got like past the uh, the trees. Ah, uh, that's right. I still have another mag inside the hideout. Another one of these, so you know I'll be able to use those still. All right, let's go check the stash over here, and then we're good to continue. Well, I got something. Interesting. A red flare, huh? Do we think it's worth it, ladies, ladies and gentlemen? Do I grab it? I actually have no idea if these things are worth it or not. I'll grab it for now. You let me know in the comments section. I'll hold on to it until the next episode. I know we need a flare gun to shoot them off. I know that, at least. But if they're worth holding on to, I'll hold on to it. We just need to get a march room key or go and buy a, uh, go buy one of those those things and see if we can test it out. It's okay, you're fine. Keep going, dude. Which I'm gonna reload a few times here. All the way to the exit. There we go. A little more reloading done. 
All right, I'm gonna go check the cottage, cottage safe key and see how much that is. How much XP? 2,000 XP because we killed the player with a Mosin headshot. Oof, I like it. Then we're back to it again. Not that bad of a price, 119,000. But it's going up in price. At the cottage back door key, I could have made 500,000 just from that key alone. It's kind of nutty. Um, we have more money uh, that we can or that we can make. We have 5,000 rubles right now, but obviously we have stuff we need to sell. I think I'm gonna hold off for now. Maybe not actually. Let's get rid of them. Let's sell everything real quick just to get rid of it. Boom, boom, boom. Except for that. I need to sell some of the stuff over to Peacekeeper. I think it's a worthy sacrifice. Um, I don't need the bunkhouse key. I'm going to take the safe key instead. Yeah, I think it's worth it. It's definitely worth, worth trade for now because we're going to be doing this quite a bit. And even if when we don't, we'll have to be, we'll have the ability to use it when we go like to like say, I don't know. Let's just say we're gonna go over to, um, like the resort or something. So it's not really a big big deal. We gotta get some more kills with this as well. But anyway, let's head back. We got the key now. Another opportunity for a chance for a flash drive. So let's do this, shall we? All right. For some reason my game did not capture but we killed uh two sniper scabs up there and then there's also some behind us so i gotta be a little bit careful careful there i think there's someone right next to us actually Oh, it's a scab. What the heck? Scab, what are you doing scaring the heck out of me? Just gotta be a little bit careful here. There was like a big explosion. And there's some gunshots here. Not exactly the position I want to be in right now. I'm guessing whoever was there probably shot and then kept moving. So we're going to do the same for the time being. All right, let's get moving. Let's get go, 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 go. To the cottages we go. But at least at least we got some good xp we got two scab kills which means we got enough xp to get out i mean we'll have enough anyway because of how long the run takes to get here it's just a little bit a little bit more i want to try to get to level 17 as well if we can get to 17 by the end of this episode that'd be really helpful because then that means we get access to ragman level two and we get a bunch of new gear to put on plus we get to start working on interchange tasks too a lot of different things in our way and I'm actually excited about that. I don't see anything there. Okay, let's get inside the cottages. I hope we can get a little bit of luck and see if maybe we can get that uh, a flash drive. I mean, it's not like, it's not like they're still fighting in the uh, they're still fighting in the in the woods there. Let's close, close, close. Yeah, there's so many things we could have moved on to, but the darn guy with the uh, the silence MDR had to kill us, huh? Well, blame it on him. Hashtag 
Grr, Monday. Uh, Tuesdays. It's Tuesday. Sorry, not Monday. Well, no, it's Monday for me. It's a Grr, Mondays. <laughs> it's Tuesday for you, but Monday for me. Come on, flash drive. One of these days, it'll work when I say it. I, uh, uh, no, I want to search it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's fine. We got two more tries. Two more tries now. Or at least for this raid, we have two more tries. We have many tries left. Check for the cottage key. You never know. I like, I like to check for it because I mean that's a lot of money right now. Now that I know it's worth like five hundred thousand, I mean that's some decent amount of cash right there. Chief phone, a pistola, and I need that PM pistol. I think I lost the other one during the raid. Come on, flash drive. Be nice to us. Maybe, just maybe. Ah, okay, no. No luck for us today on that. All good. It's all good. Well, had to come back and try it again. I mean, oh no, I'm getting more loot. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> we are getting some good things to sell, though. And it is allowing me to get items that I need to get access to anyway. Everything that we... That we're getting right now though is going to be going towards our next purchases which is going to be the 114 key so if i can find one that's really cheap for like a hundred thousand or like two hundred thousand i'm going to buy it and then after that the rest of the money that we get is going towards the scat box that'll be that'll be the next purchase that we get i know i just said this early but now that we have the cottage key and it's another access to a little bit more loot that is going to be the plan for us for the time being Cause I do want to keep moving forward. I don't want to always have to continuously do the same thing over and over. If I get the one, if I can get the 114 key or buy it, and then buy like the 110 key, and we have, we have uh, customs, then we can go and do our runs on as well, and then continue working on all the other tasks that we've got to get done. So there's obviously options. There's options for things for us to work on. So I just wanted to make sure that there's there's multiple directions we can go on. Plus, I'm going to be pulling up a video or like a map of. Escape from oh actually I was, I was saying I was gonna pull a map from Escape from Tarkov. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. No, I was, I was I'm gonna pull up a map soon to go look over. Actually, I'm gonna go check this. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to go there yet. Um, I'm gonna pull a map up for Streets of Tarkov so I can locate all those buildings that I need to go into and like step foot in, get credit for, so we can get a little bit of XP on there, and um, I'll just do a little more exploration that map. We do have a scab available too, so we could always bring our scab to streets and do a little more exploration. Best part about this whole thing is that I'm, I'm able to get a ton of work towards... Uh, like a ton of work towards the endurance and also strength. Because I'm running so far that it builds up the endurance right away and then I get the strength XP out of it. So that's actually a really big positive. It's going to take everything. Drink it up. Drink it up. I just triple check and make sure I didn't miss anything. All 
all right let's go get the hidden stash here could go through the village there but we only got a few spots left I could jump over though. There's quite a bit of hidden stashes throughout this area too, but I had to go like in the middle of the swamp and I don't really want to risk that at the moment. Wasn't there a crate? No, it's over here. Wow, nothing? Oh, that's pretty darn close, actually. I think it's safe to say it's time to go. Got to make it past this little portion here of the swamp and then we are Gucci. That's with the shots right now. No one are risking shot by a player. Tiny bit of reloading while we're heading towards the exit. I should really switch over to t uh, the T46M. It's a cheaper round that I can use. It's just a tracer. But I, I'm debating if I want to switch over to that so that way we can do what we're doing right now, but in a more efficient way. And now I know I can fully re unload the weapon and reload it. Like this, do it like a million times. There we go. 11 more XP towards the sniper skill. We get some money. And, well, you know, we just got to kind of hope that we get our hands on the flash drive in the next one. To the next one. We got some sniper scabs above us. Where are you, sniper scabs? I saw one of your friends already. Where are you now? Kind of difficult actually to see these guys. There's the one dead one. The other one's going to be on the other side. Okay. We're not going to worry about them. We're heading back to our goal. I'll only worry about them if I have to actually shoot them. Which I don't know if I'm actually going to have to or not. Nah, doesn't look like it. Okay. You know what would be kind of cool? Like I said, I've said this many times before, but it'd be so nice if you could grab the quest items from these things like early on. So that way when you like it's ready, it's sitting there and it, it kind of give a purpose for the, the like the transfer thing that you've got. Like the quest transfer early thing that you hold on to everything. It, it would just be nice. It, it would give it some type of nice purpose beyond just not feeling like doing the one task or what or, or whatever. Maybe one day, maybe, maybe they'll be nice enough to actually make that happen. Cause then it's like you reward people that remember the tasks that, they, that they're doing. And, and you know, or not, not that they're doing, but you, you reward people for the tasks that are coming in the future and they're paying attention to these things. And they're saying, oh shoot, I can take this path and this path and I can grab, you know, items A, B and C and I can just store those and have them for later on. Cause I mean, other than the ones that were like the story says like, uh, I've just placed this item, go grab it, la 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 la, or whatever. Stuff like that I get, but like the ones that are just always consistently like sitting there and they're doing nothing, might as well just allow us to pick it up and hold on to them. Be kind of cool. We're going to come back out to Tarkov lands anyway to do a bunch of other tasks. We might as well just have a little bit of a nice freebie once. Well, I shouldn't say even freebie because you technically have to get out with it anyway. 
but I guess preparing for the future, preparing for what's ahead of you. That that's just kind of a nice thing to be able to do. How much ammo do I have left? I have 25 rounds. I am going to start actually unloading this. I think once more. Nope, we're fully empty. Not, not fully empty, we're completely empty. Huh. It's an oxymoron, fully empty. Anyway, we're working on that sniper skill. I was going to check that. We'll check it when we get in the building and see where we're at. I saw him for a second. I'm going to see if he pops back out. Now knows where we're at. That second shot may have actually got him. It may have gotten him. I'm gonna get inside and see if I can look down on that location. loud in the houses I find so I'm gonna try to be a little bit quiet I'm in no rush here oh didn't fully make up the staircase yet there we go That's not a head? I can barely see it, but it looked like a head from this distance. Whoops. I can't tell whether or not I killed him. Kind of cool if I could. Flash drive, you're you're doing this on purpose. I feel like.
So clearly I didn't kill him. Shoot, there he is. So in the place next to me. So I hit the guy that was in the kitchen. I know I hit him for a fact because the blow was in the back there. Could be a scab in there as well. That's why I don't know how viable it is to go inside there. I got 10 extra rounds on top of the, what I got right now. But the problem is the energy in the water. I don't think I'm going to be able to last it.
I mean, having the depot laid behind me is definitely really nice because I can skirt around a little bit more. I saw his gun. Okay, like laying down like this is a horrible idea. I'm gonna stop that right now. Just a scab at the end. I'm going to play it smart. I'm not going to go in there. It's just going to get me killed. Slightly confused on where that one guy is because I, I heard wooden footsteps from that from that uh, cat the cottage right there But then I, heard, I started hearing wood like he was going away from it, but he may have gone inside instead Didn't actually confirm whether or not it's a player either so it could just be a scav I was expecting more of a like a like a much stronger push from them after they start throwing the grenades. But the guy did waste a lot of his ammo right away, missed all of it. This is the times where I wish I had my gun loaded with S and B, because obviously I'd be able to do a lot more damage to these guys. But it's fine. We'll just, we'll just do a little bit of looting through the village real quick, just so we're not coming out with nothing. So I can at least sell some stuff and make some de decent money, and then... Kind of cutting it pretty tight right now. Just putting the attempt out there for some keys while we're, while we're in the village. I need bolts, I need screws, I need basically everything still, so. Might as well grab it. Oh, there's one thing that we could probably do by the end of this episode. Well, no, because I still want the 114 key, so I'm going to stick to that. I was going to say, we could get the gym up and running. Yeah, we could get that going. This definitely took a much different turn than expected, though. This this raid. Oh, and it just has no negative effects. Although it sells for twenty k, and I have enough energy right now. I'm not really too worried about the water, considering like I can just heal through that. It was just the energy I was more worried about. A pistola.
Huh. <laughs> I feel like the game's like, oh, just keep going, man. Here's more drinks. Enjoy your run. Might as well. Might as well keep going for a little bit. This actually may end up being the last run for the for the uh, episode anyway. Breathe, my man. Bleed, breathe. Can't be mad about it. At the end of the day, like. You know, we had a flash drive in our pocket, unfortunately got into a fight with um with a couple guys there and died. But I mean we still did a lot of good attempts to try to get another one. So but that's that's a fair thing on our side that we tried to try to do at least. But we'll do a little bit of loot, like I said, and then just take our winnings. The hunter matches. Nothing. Well, that, and we're also getting a couple of these horses that we need for the docks case, so it's adding up. A screwdriver in the pocket. Okay. Let's do what we were doing before. Unload the gun. We'll get it loaded up. Keep working on that sniper skill. We gotta be close to level two. I was gonna check the, the check the skill in the cottage, but uh, we got into that fight, so we'll check it inside the building here. It's all been searched. I'll just triple check, see if they left anything for us that was a use. And the Xena still sells for decent money. We'll take it. We'll take the scraps and make some money off the scraps. Why not? Nothing else. Well, someone did my run now, didn't they? I think someone did our run. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I don't think we're going to have enough time to actually finish out this stuff, so. Or to do another run, I should say. We'll have to leave the other runs for another day. One last final reload to end the, the episode. <laughs> How about that? I wonder if I should kill one of them though. Let's see. I got 1300 XP. No, I just got the one sniper kill. Did a lot of damage though. I almost killed that. I'm pretty sure I almost killed that one guy. I get four shots out of the eight that we use. So 50%. Teasing me, huh? It's teasing me. Overall, not horrible. Overall, not horrible whatsoever. Uh, I mean, we still got a lot of good stuff on it. We were able to get another key for the future. So, we didn't get the flash drive like we are hoping for. But we did a lot of searching for it. And uh, I think we did pretty decent. Uh, scav... Not scav. Sniper. Sorry. Okay, we did hit level 2. Actually, we hit level 2. We only need one more. We're getting very close to hitting level 3. And then we can finally be done with doing that thing over and over. 
However, I'm curious while I'm talking here if I can get enough XP to actually hit level 17, and I think I can. I think I can get enough. So we'll just keep ch checking the stuff along the way. Um, so yeah, overall, very happy with that. I think we got a decent amount of good kills too, and we uh, we got some decent loot too. A lot of good stuff to sell, and a lot of this junk here. It does, looks like a bunch of random junk, but I'll actually be able to make some pretty decent profit off of it as well. So that being said, it's a pretty good over overlook for me at the end of the day. I think everything's looking pretty fancy. I think for the next episode, I don't think we're going to go for the flash drive again, even though obviously I would love to try to go for it again. I just don't think it's, I don't think it's worth it in the book to have two episodes in a row where I do the same thing over and over. We did that before when we were searching for the, for the battery, um, the military battery. And I'm going to try to step away from doing that type of stuff. So most likely, probably gonna end up doing something different i don't know yet i'll come up with a plan of course and let you guys know in the upcoming episode it's per usual however let's see what we can sell real quick therapist i can sell these to you peacekeeper i can sell the sas drive to you or maybe we'll sell all this stuff to you but i kind of need the rubles right now Three thousand. I need like 30, 30, 6, 000, $6, So when we have that one task come up, we'll be able to um, turn it in and get all, all of our rewards for it. Is there anything else I need to recover from there? No. Everything else is the normal stuff. Do I have any transfer ones I can do? Rip. No, I don't have any rip stop. So I can't do that one right now. Darn it. I thought we could be able to do this, but I don't think we will. Probably like what? A couple XP off. Hundred now we're still pretty far away. We're not gonna hit it unless I do a quick run real quick. We're not gonna hit it, and I'm not really that bothered. Uh, let's sell the sort of skier to keep working on him. He's really low on money, and I gotta get him up. Even though we're at the point where we can use his stuff, we need to get him up. We need to get him up in the levels. Sell this to you as well, and I'll go through all this stuff later on and sell it. So, uh, let's go see real quick. One fourteen. Nope, nope, 114. 290,000. Can I get one cheaper? Come on, cheaper. Okay, hold on. Let's just sell a couple more things. Um, How much is this shish going for? 33,000. How much is it going to be for as far as the flea market costs? It's not bad, actually. Let's do the Xenon next. We'll do 30,000 for that one. Um, Squash. I was going to sell Squash. The Squash has really nothing right now. Wow, this actually surprises that low. What the heck is that low? That's really weird. Uh, I need bolts. How much are screwdrivers going for? They were going for a weird amount before. 6,000. Eh. Not really worth my time on that one. How about ibuprofen? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll sell the ibuprofen. Sell that one. That should sell pretty pretty fast on that one. Let's get our money for all this stuff. Get the money for that one too. All right, let's go back. Raider flea market 114. Jeez. There it is. 290,000. I'll buy it. Awesome. Now we had dorms 114. We can still work more stuff on to uh, we'll move, move towards some certain things for therapists. So why not? I want to make it happen. So probably next episode, we're going to head over to the dorms. Go grab the case from 114 and uh, some other stuff as well for custom so we got some things coming up for sure beyond that ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you enjoyed for the episode which excited about for the future if you haven't yet subscribe to the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one